Welcome back, trainers. I'm Alex Anthony. This is episode number 10 of Free Card Giveaway. I think this is the first time that I'm doing a video since I got a couple little upgrades. You're probably going to see me all bright in here. I got my lights going. Got a little more uh, HD on the camera, so I put my second camera pointing down towards the uh, pepperoni. She's always down here. You know, I'm, uh, I'm uh, kind, of, kind of right here, you know. Keep her by my left. The uh, chair has a little footrest. So I like to uh, keep her close. She likes to be by me, but um, she's kind of sleeping right now. So yeah, I just signed on to YouTube. Want to give a quick shout out? I saw uh, I'm subscribed to this guy, Poke Empire. A uh, pretty entertaining dude, actually. Uh, I saw we are uh, back plus giveaway and channel update, and I'm like, oh wow, who does that sound like? Giving away Pokemon cards, updating their channel, and uh, yeah, I uh, just wanted to leave them a comment. And I'm going to get back to finish watching this later because I like to support other small Poketubers, so I figured I'd just throw that out there because it was just on my home screen. But today we are going to get back right from the music where we were last time, and we are going to go uh, play some TCG online. I have not really had a chance to play in quite a bit. It's been a good minute. I recorded the last TCG video uh, maybe four or five days ago now, and I mentioned then I wanted to do the ladder because it just reset about, I don't know, about a week now. And so let's get into that and see what we have. Open up my free reward for the day. We got some coins. I am saving up my coins right now. I've got 1643. I, I would have about 20,000, um, but I did go through and I bought a bunch of theme decks because, I don't know, I just like theme decks. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so when it trades over to live, I don't know if we're still gonna have the theme decks. So I kind of just wanted to buy all the cards because I played a lot of theme deck, and to me, it's just something that I want to remember. Here, I'll go uh, to my deck manager. I was like, let me show off which ones I bought, but I can't really show them off there. Um, all of them. There you go. Uh, decks. So we got Mental Midnight. Of course, everyone got that. We got the Storm Rider, which seemed kind of cool. This had like this really weird um, Dragonite card in it, which for back in the day. Having, if your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack of this Pokemon, take one more prize card. This came out in 2015. So it's kind of like the reverse VMAX, where, you know, you get to take more off of a single prize. You're like, that's kind of crazy, turning a single prize deck into a two prizer. So I like that. I just thought it was cool. It, it looked very underwhelming throughout, but I figured maybe me and uh, Aiden, shout out Aiden, let's go, baby. Uh, we could play <clears throat> like a mirror match of that or something, or I'll play your Necrozma against this one if you want. You had this same thing, a bunch of these decks just kind of look kind of cool. I already had Blazing Volcano, I already uh, had Charge Light Theme Deck, Glare, the uh, Glaring Darmanitan, I got Relentless Flame, Soaring Storm, Hydro Fury. So, yeah, I got a bunch of these, and it'll be nice when the cards transfer over just to have them. So, let's check out the ladder. I honestly haven't even gone in here. I think I've seen what it is. Okay, Togekiss V Max, and then I've seen a couple other things, I believe. Uh, Togekiss V Max. So, let's just check it all out. We got 25, 50, 50, 50. Um, I'm probably going to play some Mew VMAX today, maybe I'll play some um, Jolteon VMAX because I have been keeping current with them, I was a 2, another, wait, is the first one Togekiss V? Yep, Togekiss V, then VMAX, then we got the last lot, interesting, ooh, Kabu, this would go good with my um, Victini VMAX deck that I need to finish building. I have seen like a list that I want to put together, I think I have all the cards, but I just haven't been on. So let's here. Let me just check real quick what, what we got in both decks. So and you know, show you guys. It's always easier to show you in the deck in the uh, collection, or I'm sorry, the deck manager, just because you can do the whole um, outward look from the editing perspective. So let me go like this. The seal card. Actually, we got the standard, standard, standard. I always do something a little silly in my decks, like my Jolteon decks. Yeah, I got the rare canyon here, which most people don't use. Most people would not use that. They would like to go through the line, the evolution line. They would like to ensure that they get more uh, Drizzle, which is fine. Um, two scoop up net is good. Two bosses orders, one, 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 th three, three. As in like two bosses orders, one Cheryl, three Marnie, three professors research. That's pretty standard. Uh, two escape rope is not standard. That's a little um, much. I've seen people doing, say, one escape rope and maybe one fan of waves. One fan of waves could be kind of cool. Let me add that in because I think that's what I would like to do. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that is a little more meta, and I it is so 
new to standard that I just don't really truly feel comfortable enough with my non main deck. I'm still a Jolteen, or uh, yeah, sorry, a uh, Mew V main, but I would like to, you know, keep my secondary deck a little bit more standard. Now, I'm sure this one's got some something ridiculous going on in it. It might not, though, because I, I've been getting a little frustrated with how the game, with inconsistencies in the game. So, here's my non-standard. I use four energy. I use four basic energy and four fusion strike energy. A lot of people only use two, and a, the people who don't use two always use three. I've never seen anyone else use four. Um, for me, I just hate getting destroyed on control decks, basically. I've had a couple instances where I would have an energy, a single energy, say I play like a two, um, see one is prized, one basic energy is prized, say I play three. One is attached to a Pokemon that I, you know, needed to attach it to at the time. And then now I need to attach to one more, or a different one, and all my Fusion Strike are either discarded, fan of waves, this and that, no less of sparkle, what have you. So there's just been a lot of times where it's been really hard to get energy, and I, this is for me one of the silliest things. Like, to only play six energy in a deck is just so ridiculous compared to the theme decks we play 18. I'm sure 18 is just absurd and it was never competitive, but to play six is also, in my extremely rookie opinion, a little absurd. Um, I play Pokeball because I. A, I don't like Great Ball. It's just inconsistent. I'd rather get a 50% 50, 50 chance to get whatever card I want than a 7 out of, you know, usually like 30, 40 chance, especially early game, to um, not get anything. That's about, that's way less than a coin flip. Um, maybe not way less. I haven't done the exact math, but I've just whipped with Great Ball enough times that I'm like, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. This is a dope track. This is a dope track. Um... <clears throat> Okay, so I think everything looks pretty standard in here. I don't really want to change anything. If I had another Rose Tower, I would put that in instead of Old Cemetery. I just don't have it. I know that's the current wave. Oh, I also use Rayhan, which is, like, very unorthodox. Um, but if my Mew V max gets knocked out, and then I need to power up, say, like, I have another Mew V on the bench, being able to throw down Rayhan, being able to get Mew V, being able to put an energy on it, and then being able to attach for turn and just have another fully powered Mew V max, I think that's sweet. So I know I'm once again a rookie in this and that, but that's just how I like to play this game. So let's get in there and uh, play some games. I am going to try and grind out this ladder. I only got 13 days. This comes with uh, a seven day, I'm sorry, a uh, 21 day time frame. So I've already wasted seven days. Not wasted, been very busy doing stuff. I am literally uploading my last um, TCG video, the you know, physical cards, be right now because I just got new editing software, which makes my life so much easier. It took me about an hour to edit that video, whereas if I was using my old software, it would have been a good four plus hours. And then the, even the um, the export. Oh, I actually don't think I've selected. I meant to play Mufi Max, but we can do whatever. Go back and forth. I'll probably switch to Mew Max after this, just because I was just in the mood, I haven't played the game for a while, and I do really like to play the Mew Max deck. It's funny to me how people will complain about Mew Max. it's funny that we're playing against it. Um, they'll say, oh my god, you get, people have to get to do so much stuff their first turn with Genesect and Fusion Strike System, Battle Pass, and I'm like, okay, that's fine, but what about Jolteon Max turn 2, when and or if you have... I mean, not with this hand. This is a garbage uh, hand. What I'm gonna do is attach energy and then Marnie, I think is probably a good play because I have no Drizzles. That's basically what I was, or sorry, no Sopples. And no way to get Sopples. That's what I was getting at before was that, say I have like three Sopples, you know, perfectly ideal situation. My turn two is gonna be just as long and annoying, if not, longer than their turn one because once i do shady dealings rizal shady dealings rizal sh it's, it, forget about it then every turn subsequently after that especially if you have shady dealings teleon the amount of time people spend searching for cards is just ridiculous so let's just marnie and hope for uh some supports that is horrible and i even considered not attaching for turn just so i could use a speed energy but wow that's bad. Um, 
<laughs> That's bad. We are going to have to concede this game. <laughs> because they're just going to hit us for a turn on um, all they have to do. Like, okay, I'm not going to actually concede. Um, but all they have to do to win is hit us with Mu V Max. I'm, I'm going to concede. Because the odds of them getting Mu V Max on a single energy. They're gonna do it every single time. Like, what's my deck list again? What's my trainer card? I got Quick Ball and Level Ball. So I have eight cards that I could have hit to just get one Drizzle, or one solve, but even then, that was a pretty bad first draw. Um, let's switch over to Mew V Max and go from there. That is the one thing that I don't really enjoy about. I would say about that typical Jolteon build is that if you get a slow start, which I feel like you can get more frequently than you can get with. Uh, Mu Max. Like, I have my Mu Max currently built to just not get slow starts. I mean, if I do, it's just complete lack of luck. I um, have had that happen too many times in my builds. That's why I play the cards that I play, and that's why I like having the extra basic in there with a the Recorio. Not only for its, you know, everything that it brings to the table, but just for the fact that it helps me draw more cards. So. Potentially up against Urshifu. Single strike. Beep boop. See, like already we have enough cards to draw four. Well, that's unfortunate. Just in the way that I had to concede that last game, they may have to concede this game simply because of the matchup. It's kind of crazy how games of Pokemon go. It does truly remind me a lot of Poker, the only other card game I've ever played in my life, where if you... You can just get unlucky. I mean, it is a game of skill, but it, that has to be said. It's not just, because there's so much luck involved, the skill is, I would say, personally, the deck building, and then your, um, I, like to, I guess just call it your order of operation execution. Like, playing in a way where you do the right thing in the right order. We all know that, you know, you can clearly just do one of two things wrong, like you play this card before this card, and then that can give you less um, less resources or less what, ha what have you. So I'm going to uh, get Big Mel out, and then we'll start our Future Strike system. I'm probably going to retreat into um, the Nun. I was saying earlier on my uh, TCG, on my live video, live card, how I like to... Is my turn. I could sparkle. Could I really? Wait, I can sparkle? I can sparkle. Oh my god, Dose. Um, let's go for that play. Let's see if we can get a sparkle off. I kind of forgot that I can play a supporter because I haven't played for a week. Um, okay, so if I cram a Matic away this battle VIP and get a sparkle, this dude is going, oh, I feel so bad for them. Game over. They have to quit, just in the same way that, not have to quit, but if you don't, it's like, okay, like, uh, you're not gonna have a great day. So I'm gonna Psychic Leap, I already used a Power Tablet, that Psychic Leap is gonna be... Oh, actually, I guess it won't be that much. Okay, th they don't have to concede, they are just in a uh, terrible situation. <laughs> so... Oh, you, oh, no, 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 I can't. I was gonna say, well, I can bring up the Houndour. I can't, though. What I would have needed to bring up Houndour would have been an escape rope. But I can still just uh, retreat, bring up the big goal, Mew V, go Psychic Leap. Hit that little no button. Damn, 200, almost. Wait, is Power Tablet before? Oh, Power Tablet is before the weakness? Ugh, damn, that's terrible for them. So that gave me a hundred. Had I known that, I would have been really hoping for another power tab. But I just, I, what I thought was going to happen was it was going to go 140 and then 30 on top of that. I didn't really uh, read. I'm sure it says, you know, before weakness and resistance. Or I'm sorry, uh, yeah, the 30 more damage active Pokemon before applying weakness and resistance. So then you, then you do the 30 damage, and then you apply the weakness. Duh. Alright, so, Umbri on VMAX, Gengar VMAX. Cool, Crobat. So, we have a site for four prize cards right now, pretty easily. We have 
a line to go. What in God's name? Did he know that that was going to happen? I don't know if he knew that was going to happen. That was pretty dumb. I don't think he did that on purpose. <laughs> I don't think he did that on purpose. I don't think he saw I had Old Cemetery up. I do not think that they did that. No. I don't believe. It, wait. <gasps> oh, they did. Okay, they did. They did, they did, they did. See, here's one thing I always forget about. I always forget about the power buff you get from single strike energy. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Um, what I'm going to do, bring up, do you want to bring up this or let's bring up Meloetta, right? No, I'll bring up you because then I can change my mind after. I can always change my mind after. Okay, cool. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just deciding how I want to kill this thing. And even if I want to kill it, because what I could just do is put an energy on Mew V, because I think I only... No, I should have all four in the deck. I'm pretty sure I had all four in the deck. I should check that as well. So let me... Let me just... First things first, let me Fog Crystal up into the Mew V. That will help me. Then... Do I need to reveal my training port right now? Depends. I kind of want to just take out, like, you know, a two-prizer before, like, screw him. Like, and then that, yeah, 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 see, if I leave this on here, that's going to keep his single strike energy on here. My play, currently, is to try and find a boss's orders. Boss up something completely different. One of these, probably Gengar, I would say would be my biggest competition. Boss up Gengar, and then... Try to hit a Mew VMAX as well. Leave this dude just stranded over there. Sure, like, with the two energy. That would be best for me overall. A little Lavender Town action. Okay. This is looking pretty good. If I can Chromomatic away the Battle VIP and get... Oh, two heads. Two heads for the luck. Alright, cool. Because what this is going to do now is assure me... Two prizes. He... Now the only thing I need to be prepared for is that this Mew Max is going to die. Like, straight up is going to die. I've got... I'm pretty sure I've got two more um, Fusion Strike Energy in the deck. If not, I may need to find another Mew Max for next turn. But I've got pretty much everything to do what I need to do for now. Because this Mew Max is... Because here's what they're going to probably go for is Umbreon, V Max, double single strike roar, bring that into the active attach for turn, and then... Ooh, well, they may not be able to. Well, yeah, they can attack for turn double with... Uh, unless one of them prized. So there's a... I have a few chances for it to... Um, for Mew Max to not get knocked out. But they... Are gonna lose the uh, kind of like the war of turn attrition, so I get to go next again. And as long as I can get something, ah, uh, see, he retreats it to put them. I'm not smart, you know. I'm just not smart. <laughs> of course, he's gonna do it that way. He's gonna retreat. It. Okay, cool. Okay, so what I need? I don't think I need anything. Do I need anything? I do. I do. Okay, here's how this works. If there are two, um, if there are two Fusion Strike Energy in the deck, I win automatically. Because I can just Melodious Echo up a Houndoom. If there is only one, then I will need Mew VMAX. This doesn't help. <laughs> this doesn't help. Alright, so... Or Rayhan. Or Rayhan. Oh, the magical Rayhan would be unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. So, this is potentially horrible. If we only had the one in there, then this could be potentially horrible. So, we gotta put up Genesect V because we are going for max draw. I want Rayhan. Yeah, Rayhan would. God, but if I use Rayhan, then I can't use boss. Ugh, I would need Rayhan and my escape rope. 
Wow. This went from a situation where I thought they were going to have to concede to now they could potentially uh, kill me next turn. This is crazy. Okay. Let's uh, do what we can. That's all we can do. Is what we can. So I'm just going to attach... Yeah, we would need a scape rope. And Rayhan. Okay, so let's quick ball away. Meloetta. Done. Let's Pokeball away. Nothing. Let's just see what we have in here, actually, real quick. So, I don't have another Fusion Strike energy. So, I need Rayhan. So, I need Rayhan. I have 22 cards left in my deck. And I need Big Rayman. Um, we are going to... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to retreat Mew VMAX into Meloetta, use my escape rope back into Mew VMAX, force him to put out, you know, the one that will die. And now we keep drawing. We need Ray Hunt. Can we get a third head to win the game? GG's. defeat. Alright, call the cornfield heads. If only I, like, there was, like, money on the line, you know, like, if there was some way, we get to go first, yes, um, if there was some way for that to have, like, mattered in life, then that would have been a terrible way to lose a game. I, for I did something else that game. Oh, I forgot that I could play a supporter card on turn one because I went second. That's just the, the attributes of not playing for, um, you know, a week plus. Ooh, gotta go down a sec, unfortunately. At least we got the Battle VIP, but, you know, not having the, uh, <laughs> not having anything else at first is a little more. Fun. I'll probably just run the standard right back, do Mellow Adam. You know, let's go with Pokeball, because this one doesn't have to discard. Alright. Infusion mm -hmm. Strike System. It's almost like we don't have to go too crazy because I can't really do anything else right now and we always can't get Marty. Like, I don't even need to put up this old cemetery because I don't know if I'm playing against a uh, Path to the Peak deck. Can I attack slash use my energy mix? No, I cannot because I went first. Pass it off. So my ideal next um, turn would be to put on another energy, go to Mew VMAX, find boss's orders, and boss up their most, whatever their most valuable cards that they're about to put up. Let's see, they got the water deck box, meaning they're probably playing like Suicune V, Ice Rider Calyrex. Remoraid, huh? So it's a rapid strike based deck. Um, rapid strike water, oh. Inteleon? Rapid Strike Inteleon? I'm just trying to think what would play a Rapid Strike card. 
and energy heads. So now I would need Sparkle Sparkle to uh, put two energy on and attach by hand, and then I would not be able to. <laughs> I knew it was um, and then I would not be able to boss the workers. So, with all of that being said, who cares? I'm still going to. I'm just going to go for my. I think that's fine. Just go for a. Um, a one prize knockout, if possible, would be nice. And if we're going to do that, you know, we can always just go with Meloetta. Like, why even bother exposing Mew V? Max, when we could just go with. Meloetta. So let's go Old Cemetery. Let's go... Let's quick ball away this Mufi. We don't need that. Let me just check real quick what's in the deck. So we've got one Sparkle, one Rayhan, three Fusion Strike Energy, one more Basic Energy. So look at that. We got... Hold on a second. Show play that. Oh, I got one in the discard. But that's a Fusion Strike Energy. So I got one Fusion Strike Energy in the discard. Already. Cool. Then I got, th so I've got three of these basic energy prize. Like, that's why I play eight energy. I only have five available right here. So, um, okay, cool. Um, not cool, but cool. Oh, okay, okay, and then I have this one here. So two of them are prized. My dumbass. I figured I had one out here. All right, let's just get rid of Fog Crystal. And I'm going to hold on to Power Tablet. That one can actually, that's a little too valuable to just burn. I wanted to sparkle, so let me try to cram that away quick ball. Tails. We will fusion strike system again. And if we don't, um, if we can't sparkle this turn, then whatever. Heads, got lucky. I'm getting very lucky with our heads. So what I'll do is I'll put one on Meloetta, one on Mew V Max, retreat Mew V Max into Meloetta. Only be exposing myself for the one, uh, yeah, I, the one, the thing that I don't really like about this play, though, unfortunately, is I don't really like that I have to lose this, uh, <sighs> I have to lose my energy card if I do get, you know, knocked out, but whatever. Ooh, if I do get knocked out, then what I can do is use Rayhan, put the basic energy on me VMAX, take any card I want. Drats. You know what's great though is that I have power tablets. I saved them. I saved them just for you. So let's see. He's already. Oh no, he. Alright, so he was smart. He did his energy after. So he's got 320 HP. Probably play Cheryl? Probably play Cheryl? Like, why wouldn't you play Cheryl? I am a fan of waves. See, that's just... I, I knew that was a possibility, but I um, still decided to do that anyway. Um, whatever. <clears throat> so now, I'm gonna have to do training court to get that back in my hand. Uh, wait, how many are down here? Only one. So I still do need an... Um, another energy. Let's see, 320, how many power tablets would I need? How many have I used? Zero, right? All right, let's go for the crazy play. Let's go for the every tablet play. I'm gonna try and get four tablets. I'm gonna need another energy. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Dude, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. So now I'm gonna need a Lisa Sparkle. Um, yeah, it's okay. What I meant to do was leave that in there, use Rayhan, yada yada yada, but that's okay. Chromatic way, the switch. Hmm. Sure, we're gonna need to use it anyway. This might be a wash, ladies and gentlemen. This might be a wash. Yeah, 
Yeah. I needed to get um Alisa Sparkle. Uh, I should have given him the well played. I did not give him the well played. Um, I sh needed Alisa Sparkle to. Or I needed to just not mess that play up with Rayhan. <laughs> because what I could have done is attached. Yeah, what I could have done is I could have attached the energy from my discard. I forgot that the energy has to be in your discard. That's what happens when you don't play for a week. Um, the energy has to be in your discard to use Rayhan, not from your deck. And then I could have grabbed a Fusion Strike energy. I had my third um, power tablet, so that would have been 90 on top of 210. I would have needed that one last one. But they could have very easily just gotten a Cheryl and healed up after 300 damage if I missed. And this is the other thing, but that is a second disappointing loss. All good. Oh, the music. Uh, I was like, why is it so quiet in here? Here, let me just throw my Mu V in the active, and then I will uh, throw something else back on for the uh, the tunes. My opponent is choosing their basic. And I get to hit done. All right, cool. Let me go choose something else on the uh, YouTube there. Um, let's go back. Doing the copyright free Pokemon music. Some of these were like really not that great, but I remember this one was pretty, pretty decent. Alright. So, I'm sorry, it's just a little loud for me. I know whenever I'm listening to the recording, it's always, it's never that loud, so. Alright, let's see what they did. My turn! Battle, battle VP. Hey, we're playing against the same deck, that's funny. Are we playing against the same person? I should have checked that. <laughs> um, anyway. Anyway. Let's Quick Ball or Chromatic, what do we want to do? Let's Chromatic away the Quick Ball, since I have the two Fog Crystals. All good, all we're doing is spending our hand. Let me go for Mew and Mel. It is funny too because I referenced poker earlier and if you folks aren't poker players, this is a uh, game very similar to that and where if you either don't get lucky or you make one or two mistakes, that can be just, you're gone, you lost. Game over, Bye bye So I would play this one smart. Wait, 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 they already had a first turn? They already had a first turn? Ugh, bro, sorry bro. All right, so let's, um. Knock this little dude out then. I'm sorry. Alright, and this time I'm not exposing myself. I learned, bro. I absolutely learned. I think that that is the best play. I probably didn't need, didn't need to attach so many um, Fusion Strike energy out there. I have a, the basic energy here that I could have used. But whatever. Oh, did three losses orders. It's so funny. So you guys can see my struggle now in the, in the Zoe cam. She gets a little... Um, Controls. We gotta reset that big old booty. Oh yeah, say smile to the camera, Big Z. Oh, we get control. Sorry, I would not. I forget you have to say now. All right, so oops. okay. Um, so he has no way to knock me out. And what I can do is just tack this fusion strike energy to Meloetta. Quick ball away a boss's orders. Bring up another Genesect and try to find two. Um, to which I'm a call it. Ah, oh, this bastard. <laughs> he knows. He knows. He knows. That's so funny because what would I be just the same? But hey, you know what? Um, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You know why? Because I don't care. Damn, dude. I got a quick ball away. Quick ball away the boss's orders because I can always use Battle VIP as Chromomatic fodder. Alright, that's definitely the play. So, let me go for a uh, big gen. Because I want some cards. Now that I can't hit for 210 without Mew Max, I want Mew Max. And I can only draw one card. Amazing. And I can only draw one card again. Damn, how am I getting so body today? Woo! What an amazing top deck. Sorry for screaming, but wow. <sighs> what an amazing top deck. That was so lucky. Cross 
Fusion Strike. Techno Blast. Force him to use a Cheryl. This is some epic music, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, force the Cheryl. See, you know Cheryl's gonna be in a deck like this when they don't need to have any energy attached to do what they're trying to do. Cool, well, we're gonna absolutely take this, uh, Sobble out. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What does their attack do? 140? Oh my god, that's awesome. And we have 310, so all they can do is 140, and then I can Psychic Leap back. back. That's really funny. Um, so we're gonna boss up Sobble, because I really would like to get the boss out of my hand first, like, honestly. That's the biggest thing. The second biggest thing is now we are hurting their, uh, draw engine. Third is what I can actually do here, is now retreat into, um, my Mew V, since I couldn't attack anyway. Psychic Leap. Hit no. Live life. So this is working out decent for us. But I thought that in the last couple games too, so... Well, I, I knew the first game we threw terrible with the uh, Jolteon. What are we at right now? We're at 38. All you guys have been doing is watch me get my ass kicked. That's all you can do, bro. Yeah, what you got, baby? Smart play. Smart play. So he's going with the big sub. I wonder if he's gonna... I don't think he would go for another Jolteon. He'd I'm sorry, another uh, Inteleon. He'd probably go for another Zobble. Because he's been doing pretty good with, you know, what he's got to do here. If I use any tablets, I want to go for the more tablet play. What is my best play? First things first, let's see if we can get like a uh, Horopori or something on the bench here. Nope. Okay. I need to keep this Mew V in play, or at least I need a Mew V in play so that I can have access to Psychic Leap. I'm really trying to think what my best play is here. I think what I'm going to do is boss up a Sobble. Psychic Leap back into the deck. Chromomatic away Battle VIP to try and get, like, I don't know, another Mew V in play? That's gonna be more important. Yeah. Alright, that'll be more important than what else have you, so... Yep, I like that. And then I can just keep thinning my deck, thinning my deck, thinning my deck, gaining resources and try and go for that 4th tap of play. Mew Max for this next Mew. Alright, I'm gonna do what we can. Uh, Psychic Leap. Big yes. Throw Gen Genesect out there and hope that they don't have um, something to lock that in, like a, a Marnie. They say, hope that I don't get Marnie because I got my switches right here. That's what I'm going to be looking to do. He took out my Meloetta. Okay, I was like, how did he take one, Brian? He took out my Meloetta. Alright, so he's got Evolution Sense, and now we're gonna see a little drizzle action. This is such epic music. <laughs> very, very suiting, because I have to really try to get that dub. Alright, um, we've got Battle VIP for Kermomatic. He's gonna shady dealings up probably a Drizzile, I guess. I'm mean, probably a Sobble. I guess I don't really know what the play would be on his part. I don't really know that deck. Half to Le Peak. Okay, so how many saves have I used? Only the one? Sorry, sometimes I have to like look around, my camera is like blocking basically where the Genesect is. Um, so I like to look straight into the camera when I'm playing. So, let's... 
What do we want? What do we want? I think switch. Do you want to switch anything? Okay, here. Let's chromatic away the battle VIP. Heads, cool. Let's go with a old cemetery. Bump this out of here. And let's get to work. Alright, fine, whatever. Let's just put some damage on him. Force another Cheryl. There's only the one left anyway, so... I would like, I would like to save it. The power tab that I'm referring to, I'm like looking at it, I'm like, should I use that? Just to get some draw space, and it's like, nope. This is really cool, let's use Oracorio. This will help us in taking less damage. And draw more cards. And I don't, I didn't detach for turn yet. Building up power tablets. Wow. That's nice. That is nice. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I got 160 on him. He can't. Cool. Retreat. Escape rope. And, um. Because he can't knock me out next turn, I'm gonna just do my, um, Max Miracle attack. Yeah, he would need to do, um, 150 and he can only do 140. And all I need are two power tablets if I want to kill him. Oh, he can't even do that much. He's gonna only do one, um, 20. Right, so that brings him down to 300. That brings him down to 300. One less power tablet. One less power tablet. I don't think he can beat me at this point, because he had to research there, and I think he would have needed to Marnie to um, have a chance. Alright, I'm trying to, sorry, I have to read the card. Um, if you, and any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Okay, I'm just reading the caveat. I want to just make sure how exactly... I know there's, like, stipulation around Rayhan. I'm trying to see if there's any way that I could knock myself out, which I can't because I have... Because I he has the Rugged Helmet on, which does 20 damage, right? Yep, 22 damage. damage. Okay. So. Let's see. So I can still Psychic Leap back into the deck. That's massive. Oh my god, I can Psychic Leap back in the deck. That's cool. So here's what I'm gonna do. Psychic Leap back in the deck, Genesec V. Um, get the Mew V. Oh, I, I'll go. See, I almost f***ed it up again. I almost messed it up again. So what I'm gonna do is Psychic Leap back in the deck. Prosecution Strike. Psychic Leap. Big yes. Throw out Genesect. Now they would need to mark me. <sighs> Game over. Game over. Here's why I think it's gonna be game over. Okay. Maybe not maybe not next turn, but I think overall it is game over. So they've used three Cheryls. Okay, that's that's pretty huge. Most people are probably not gonna use four, and if they do. So, I'm still calling for, um, I'm not gonna say game over, but I'm calling for a big good game. Big GG. Let's go with Pokemon. Heads. Mew. Okay. I might even just let him take my Genesect, and then just Rayhan for the win. 
Oh no, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. Um, actually, wait. <laughs> Do I have a choice? Do I even have a choice? I think that might actually just be the play, like, just let him take Rayhan, because then what I can do is I can Rayhan attach energy to Mew VMAX from in here. Oh, I don't have him. Wow, I don't have that in there yet. Oof, 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 okay. This is looking a little tough. Oh, I put him back in the deck. Oh my god. There's always something, right? I'm always messing myself up somehow. So what I thought was that I accidentally, or that I actually put the, in the discard. I'm sorry, the, um, all right. So what I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch into Mew Max. And just hold. Just hold. Um, I forgot that when I did Psychic Leap that my, my cards go back into the deck. Not in the discard. It's not a retreat. Nothing like that. Even then, Mew is zero retreat. So I don't have any basic energy in my discard pile, which as I did last time, this is simply, I didn't make the mistake this time, but I made the mistake of not realizing um, I don't have any um, any way to activate Rayhan. Like that kind of like, you can't use Rayhan unless you have, it says attach in a basic energy card from your discard. Um, if you do, search your deck for a card put in your hand. So basically, it says if you do, that the if you do is the big part. Um, it's not just a search your deck for this side of the other thing. You have to have the energy in the discard. It's such a weird caveat. You'd think that, because it does make it worse. It does make it worse overall, but when you have it all set up, it works really great. All right, so he goes to D-Max Mario, only 120. We gotta top deck something nice. Oh, I think we do. That's very nice. So, with that being said, what's the play? I think, like, maybe... So he still has five prize cards, so maybe now I can attach, and then just, like, maybe let Mew... VMAX? Hold on a sec. Oh my god, dude, this might be next level. What I'm gonna do... <laughs> okay, this is either gonna be, this is gonna be next level, and I'm, it's either gonna cost me the game, or it's gonna win me the game. I'm going to retreat Mew VMAX into Genesect, and I'm going to attach the energy. Okay. Sorry, I just really had to think this through because it's such an unorthodox play. And I'm gonna pass. Now, he cannot quick shoot me. He's gonna have to take him out. When he does, I can activate Rayhan and get out of this whole um, Path of the Peak nonsense. Okay. <laughs> so I can attach the energy card that I just got onto Mew VMAX, but with Rayhan activated. I know this is a weird play, but I think it's gonna work. Like, he's gotta be questioning why I just did what I did. But he doesn't care at all. I think that's a good play. I, I gotta assume that's a weird but good play. Just because of... Basically what I was just doing right there is taking advantage of how many one more power tablet. Um, taking advantage of how many... Is it in the deck? Taking advantage of my prize lead. This is sweet. <laughs> this is fucking sweet. <laughs> that was hilarious, bro. That was... I'm not gonna lie, that was worth it. That was worth it for you guys to watch me get bodied, pull out the unorthodox play, the Rayhan, the four power tablets. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet right there. That one play was the highlight of uh, this video for sure. I'm not, I might have to end it on that. I might have to end it on that. Cause that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Um, what is it? 51 minutes in. Classic YouTube form. Let's let's end on a high note. Let's end on a high note. That was an awesome play, awesome game. I'm super stoked it went that way. Um, I was thinking something a little different. You know, now's a good time to talk about the giveaway. Thinking about something a little different for this online giveaway because my online videos don't really get as much interaction. So for me to just give away random packs, you may not want those random packs. So I'm not, you know, some packs. 
I'm free to, let's give away, uh, say, 10 packs for this video. And if I don't have what you want, let me know. I'll see if I can find it. And, um, yeah. Or, you know, if you're looking for, like, sleeves or this or that, let me know what you're looking for. Online, training card game related, and I will uh, make that happen for you, as long as it's within reason. Um, you know, place it on this particular card, whatever. Just let me know. Think of it. Let me know if you win. So, how do you enter this contest? Enter. Uh, you have to be subscribed. You have to leave a comment down below. Preferably something that we can talk about, you know, in this game. Maybe that amazing way to end. Ooh, girl, that was sweet. Um, and just, um, I said subscriber. Yeah, subscriber. Like it. Comment. The usual. Everyone knows. Um, I'm going to let this contest run for two weeks or 250 subscribers. I'm at about 180 right now at the time of recording. So if we can get to 250 or two weeks passes, whichever occurs first, it's usually the time frame. But yeah, I can't think of anything else. If I do, I will let you all know later. Thank you all so much for sticking with me. This was Free Card Giveaway episode number 10 with the uh, online gameplay. All right, I'll see you all next time.